In this video, we're going to learn how to display custom images on an ePaper display using an ESP8266. We'll go over the steps on how to connect the display, how to prepare the images, and the Arduino code that we need to use to display them. All right, let's do this. This video is sponsored by PCB GoGo. They're currently offering their PCB prototyping service for one to two layer 100 by 100 millimeter PCBs with a one to two day turnaround for $5. They offer a great deal of options for your PCBs and the resulting quality of their products is great. With friendly staff and great facilities, I highly recommend PCB GoGo for your PCB manufacturing needs. I'm going to be using an ESP8266 board by Waveshare that already comes with an adapter to connect to the display. I'll use a 4.2 inch e-paper display that has a pixel resolution of 400 by 300. As this is also a Waveshare product, it comes with a little board to make the connection to the ESP8266 board very easily. All that's needed is the ribbon cable that comes included with the display. Assembling it is very straightforward. You can follow along or skip ahead if you already know how to do this. All these products can be found in my little Amazon shop. I'll leave a link to it in the description of the video. With the connections made, I'll go ahead and open the Arduino IDE. Using the tools menu, I'll open the library manager, search for the GX EPD2 library and install it. I'll also search for the GFX library and install it as well. I can then go ahead and include the ePaper display library in my Arduino sketch. Before doing that, I'll define a constant so that the entire library is not included. I'll then create an instance of the class so that I can communicate with the display. For this particular board, the pins that are used to communicate with the display are the ones used in the sketch. Depending on your setup, you might need to change the numbers around. I'll go ahead and save the sketch and give it the name EPD Primer. In case I need to debug something, I'll initialize the serial communication and then I'm ready to use the init method of the display class to establish the communication with the display. Lastly, I'll call a user defined function that I'll name draw bitmap where we will send images to the display. In the definition of the drawing function, I'll configure a few parameters according to my personal preferences. You can tweak them around depending on your own. The next thing I need is to prepare the images that I want to show on the ePaper display. Just for demo purposes, I'll use a PNG image of the Acrobotic logo. I'll open it with the open source photo editor software called GIMP. You can use other software like Photoshop and just in case you don't have access to either of this, I'll show you a little later how to use an online tool. For my particular display, the image needs to be 400 by 300 pixel resolution. As this is a two color display, I'll also need to change the image to black and white. One thing to note is that when the image is prepared, you'll need to save it in a very specific format. In the case of GIMP, if we export the image using the XBM extension, it'll be saved as a byte array that we can copy over to the Arduino IDE. Using whatever method you prefer, you can copy the byte array, go back to the Arduino sketch and open a new tab. We'll give it the name bitmaps.h. We'll copy the byte array containing the image Make sure that it's stored in flash memory, give it a friendlier name that we can include in our main sketch, and change the data type to constant unsigned char. Going back to the main sketch, we can include that file, pass it as a parameter to our draw bitmaps function, and make sure that the function matches the data type to what's being passed. We use a few methods of the display class namely the first page, the fill screen, 
to make sure that no image is partially displayed. And lastly, either the draw bitmap or draw inverted bitmap method with the corresponding height and width of the display. And we finish up iterating using the next page method. With the code ready, I'll add a little breadboard to my ESP8266 board. Connect the USB cable. Use the tools menu to select the correct board and the correct port. In this case, it's a generic ESP8266 and the typical Silicon Labs USB port. With those selections made, I'm ready to upload the code. And if everything goes according to plan, the image that I created on my computer should be displayed on the e-paper display. So there you have it. Really quickly, we've learned how to prepare custom images and write Arduino code to display them on a 400 by 300 4.2 inch e-paper display. If you like my videos, I invite you to my Patreon page where you can chip in a buck or two that really helps me put in more time into the videos and release them quicker. But whatever you do, don't forget to like, subscribe, or leave me a comment. You can also interact with me on social media. I'm on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook, and you can even use the community tab of the channel. Thank you for watching my videos and I will see you next time.